hello guys you are welcome once again to another video in today's video i want to show you how to create a free c panel how to create a free c panel without buying domain name and hosting okay and how you can also install your wordpress on this particular free c panel i'm talking about how you can do so many things with it in case you're having challenge you can also use this for your practice all right this is mostly for those that are looking for a way to begin whatever thing you are learning without buying domain name and hosting okay it's free everything i'm going to be talking about tonight is free okay just follow me to the end while we do this together all right if you are coming across my channel for the first time my name is amadin etiosa popularly called mr espa this is my youtube channel and this is my picture all right i have amazing videos on my youtube channel ranging from how to design all kinds of websites make money online um run facebook ads okay all of them are on my youtube channel if you come across it kindly give this video um subscribe to my youtube channel if you have not subscribed smash the like button and make sure you hit that notification bell so you always be notified whenever videos like this are posted okay guys without wasting much time let's begin this training okay so if you come over to your browser you come to a site called infinity free all right infinity free dot com right it's called infinityfree.com you can see the free web hosting free web hosting okay you can see there right so once you come over to this site called infinityfree.com you come over to where you have where it says register all right click on register right you just hit on that okay good come over here you can see where it says register all right i will use my email can you see email I'll use this for this particular training right at gmail.com okay i'll use the email then i'll make sure i put in my my password okay all right then i'll click on i have read um terms of condition and I will click on this part to show I've verified you are human. You can see that. Then I will click on sign up. I'll click on sign up. Good. All right. It's asking me to verify my email. All right. I'll just go to my email. All right. I'll go to my email. Okay. Come over to this part here. Just come to my email. All right. Good. Okay. Just hold on. All right, this is my email. You can see the infinity free. Verify your email. I'll just click on this. All right, good. I'll click on verify email address. All right, good. Now you can see that I'm already on my C panel. That is the first process. Okay, that is the first process. The next thing you are about to do is to come over to this place and say create account. All right, this account I'm about to create is this is the C panel I want to create. Now the first thing I just did is to register on the uh, on the platform called infinity free okay i just register on the platform all right so having registered and verified your email the next thing you have to do is to come to where you have create account all right i'll close this okay you can see that it says create account choose your hosting plan all right it's free you're not buying anything i'll just click on this one so if you want to buy you can buy this but i don't think there's anything for you to buy okay just come here and click on create now this free with this free one okay then you come over to where you have your you are asked to put your domain name okay let me close this all right you come here you can see already you are using a free c panel these are the domain extension you can see different domain extension all right if you want to choose this if you want to choose this one you can choose it then i will now come here and say i just say mr Espart. Right, I'll say Mr. Espart. Can you see that now? So it's not be all right. So you can see this is this is the this is the name I'll be using, Mr. Espart. It should not be Mr. Espart Wuze.com. Something like this. This is what you get. Something like this. Let me write it out so you understand what I'm saying. It will be Mr. Espart because I'm not buying domain. All right, Mr. Espart dot uh, be okay, U A Z E dot com. All right this is how it will be because i'm not buying domain there are other ones you can see free.nf you can see great site 
you can see Affinity app.com. You can see other ones too, but I think I prefer this Wuze dot uh, Wuze dot com. I, pre I prefer. I think I prefer that. So once I do that, I will not check on availability to check if that name is available. You can see it says Domain Wuz, uh, Mr. S. Paris is available. Good. So since it's available, since it's available, and this is the password, right? I don't need to do anything again. Okay, don't do anything again. Then you now come here and you say, I approve. Are you getting me now? So you put the name here. This is welcome to um website for Mr. Mr. Espartwoosie.com. Then this is the password. Then you come here and I say, email consent, I approve. Okay, you are the one giving them the consent. That's what it means. Okay, I give them the consent. That's what I say, I approve. Then I will now come here and say, Verify you are human. Can you see that now? I'll click on this. I'll click on this. So once I verify I'm, I'm human. Okay, good. So the source X, I will now click on create account. So this is how to create your C panel after registering on the platform. So you can see that now the C panel is ready and it says open C panel. So it's a step-by-step -step process. You don't need to rush anything. Just watch the video and understand everything I'm saying here. So the next thing I'll do is I'll click on open control panel. Open control panel. Can you see that it's loading me to my control panel? Right. Good. Still loading. Right. Still loading. Just hold on. Okay. Can you see that now? It's asking to notify you, to notify you of changes to service account and every other thing, click I approve below to, to give them the uh, email alert. I'll just click on I approve. Good. Thanks, the C panel will load now. Perfect. This is your C panel. This is your C panel. I know most of you have been having this challenge. This is your C panel. Okay? So now, once I come to my C panel, can you see everything there? All right, so if you come to your C panel, you will not see WordPress. Okay, you will not see WordPress. But you will see Subtaculous app installer. Okay, this is where you install your WordPress. You will see Subtaculous app, app installer. So you now click on it. Okay, click on it. Good. Now you see WordPress here. Okay, you see WordPress here. Right, you see WordPress. You click on it. Good. You come over to this place now. Now I want to install my WordPress. It's as easy as that. It's as easy as that. Let me take it again. The first thing you need to do is to come to infinityfree.com and sign up. Once you sign up and you, you verify your email, the next thing you do is to click on, click on create account. Once you click on create account, you will select your hosting plan. The hosting plan you are selecting is the one that is free. Okay, free. From there, you go over to where you select your name. Okay, after selecting your name, after selecting your name, you put all the information there, you click on next, and the, the C panel will be created for you. So this is the C panel now. So once you click on it, it will bring you to this part here. Let me close this. It will bring you to this part. If you check here, you will not see you will not see uh, WordPress. Okay, you will not see WordPress. You just scroll through the, you will not see WordPress. But you will see Subtaculous App Installer. This is it, Subtaculous App Installer. So once you click on it, you will come over to this part here. All right? So once you come here, you will see your the name you choose your other time. This is the name I choose. All right. So once I do that now, then I'll come here and put in my password. I'll just put this. Then I will just generate any name. Let me use email. So I'll just put this. Put that has become my email. This is my uh, password there. Then I will come down and I'll click on install. Very easy. Oh, connection. Sorry, my connection. All right, can you see it's asking me to log into my C panel? All right, to log into my C panel, to log into my C panel from here, I know most of you are having this challenge. Best is come to your um, come to your Infinity Free, log into your Infinity Free, and click on Open C panel. Okay, good. You can see that. Okay, so now let me go over it again. All right, I'll come here now. Come to where I have 
my subtaculous apistola All right, so as I come here, and I remember I, from here, I click on Subtaculous App Installer, it brought me here. So now I come out to where I have WordPress. You can see WordPress here. I'll click on Install. All right, once I click on Install, you can see the, the, this is the name I choose. All right, I'll come here, put in my, my username, then I'll put in my, this thing there, password there. So I will now click on Install now. Okay, can you see it's installing? All right, can you see it's installing? Right, good. Can you see that? Perfect. Can you see that now? So this is my um, WordPress user user dashboard. All right, this is my admin dashboard here. All right, let me check my network. Okay, let me click on this. Okay, this is so once you install this now, this is the WordPress login. So if I want to log into the WordPress site now. I will copy this link and put in the username and password. I showed you the other time how to create. Okay, this is logging into WordPress. Why this is the front end? This is the this is the back end, the admin back end. All right, let me see why my network. Let me see admin. All right, okay. Okay, so mine is here to come up due to maybe probably network or something. Okay, but once you install it, can you see the name here? So now, if in case you close your laptop or you close your your browser, you want to come back to it again. All you need to do is to come back to your Infinity Free, All right? You come back to your Infinity Free. You can see that now. Let me let me log out. This is the email. This is the account I just created. All right? Let me let me log out of this. All right? You can see where it says sign out. So let me sign out now. So once I once I sign out, if you want to sign in, come to your infinityfree.com, then you click on sign in, put in your email, put in your password, right? Then you now click on this is just to verify. Can you see that? Then you click on this to verify. Once you are able to verify, you click on sign in. Click on sign in. Can you see that now? You click on sign in. So once you sign in, you will see your the one you just created, the account you just created here. But in case you have not created a C panel, this is where you create your C panel. You can see where it says create account here. So from this create account, you can create your C panel. But in case you have created your C panel but you don't know how to log in, just come down to display. Anywhere you've created, you will see it here. So just click on it. All right, once you click on it, you will see where it says control panel. Can you see that control panel? Or you can see Sotacular Active App Installer, you can see File Manager. But best is go to your control panel. Once you click on control panel, it will take you to this part here. All right, you take it to this part. Still loading. Good. It will load, load it to your C panel. This is your C panel. All right, once you come to your C panel, you will see Subtaculous App Installer. All right, Subtaculous App Installer. Where are you? This is it here. You click on it. All right. So once you click on it, it takes you down to this place. You will see installation one. That means I just installed one now. If I want to install more, it will, if, you, if I have more than one installation, it will show me the number of solutions I have. So I'll just click on it. Okay, once I click on it, you will see my domain here. This is my domain that I installed this thing on. So if I want to log in, I'll just click on this to log into my dashboard. But well, mine is here to come up. I don't know why. But then, this is how to log into the admin. Why this is how to preview it from the front side. Okay, so that is how to create your cPanel and how to install your WordPress. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, kindly give the video a thumbs up. If you are encountering any challenge, please do well to reach out to me or drop in the comment section. I'll be glad to respond to you all. All right, thank you guys for staying to the end of this video. See you in my next video.